Let's play study. Oh, it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the way to 10. That's right. Okay, uh, we call this one, that's right, sequence. Mm -hmm. Sequence. Just like that. But what if we add everything? Okay, just like this. Okay, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus. Okay, plus sign all the way. So in this case, we're going to have, that's right, the sum, right? So what we can call total. Okay, so this kind, okay, uh, no more sequence. So we call actually this one, that's right, series. Okay, we're going to talk about series now, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 10. So you got to add everything. Then series, which is we call the sum. Okay, so sum, just like this. Or total. Okay, I give you the trick. That's right. Okay, in this case, 1 through, always this one. So 1 through, okay, 1 through 10, 1 through 100, 1 through 20, whatever. You got to add all those numbers. Okay, then simply just like this one. The last number. What is the last number? 10 times okay you can use times or dot whatever okay times or the next number the next number is 11 oh then divide by divide by means like a fraction sign just like this then divide by 2 that's right which is the half oh very simple then hey all done almost done right okay then 10 divided by 2 is a 5 just like that. 5 times 11, 55. Fantastic. So 1 through 10, the total is 55. Oh, what is the sum of, that's right, so 1 through 20, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to 20. Oh, very simple. Okay, the last number was 20. That's right. The next number is 21. Then divide by 2. Oh man, very simple. Then, hey, how about the answer? Then 20 divided by 2, which is a 10, just like this one. 10 times 21, 210. Great. Okay, what about this time? So 1 through 100. Okay, the last number is 100. The next number is 101 then divide by 2 oh very simple okay then how are you gonna divide okay so 100 divided by 2 which is 50 so 50 times 101 that means oh 1 times 50 is a 50 then 1 times 50 again that's 50 great so 5000 50. That's it. Okay, the next one. Oh, so simple. So 1000, that's the last number. 1000 times 1001, the next number right there. Then divide by hmm, 2. Then all we have to do is just solve it, right? So 1000 divided by 2, that's a 500. Just like this one. 500 times 1001. Oh man, that's right. 500 and 500. So actually, 500,000 and 100. That's it. Very simple. Wow, interesting too.